Also known as the sleuth hound, bloodhounds are the grandpas of the dog world. They're gentle, caring, and somewhat aloof, but once you take a look into their history, you can find an array of their impressive feats that'll leave you in awe. Intrigued yet? Well, let us tell you more as we cover some of the breed's key characteristics in today's list of top 10 interesting facts about the bloodhound. But before we begin, a huge thank you to all the original bloodhound owners featured in this video. None of this would have been possible without their help. So please give their Instagram pages a visit through the links in the description below. And now, let's begin the list. Number 1. Their History Although not much can be said with certainty regarding the Bloodhound's origin, the breed is said to have descended from the Chien de Saint Hubert or the Saint Hubert Hound. These dogs were bred by monks at the Saint Hubert Monastery in Belgium sometime around 1000 AD, and they are believed to be the ancestors of several other breeds like the Norburn Hound for instance, which is an extinct breed of scent hound. William the Conqueror is said to have brought these dogs to England when he invaded in 1066 AD, following which the dogs became a highly prized gift among monarchs and nobles. The first actual reference to the Bloodhound was in a poem by Sir Humphrey D. Bohun in 1350, where a Bloodhound is depicted as a careful hunter who is on the trail of two lovers. The name comes from the fact that the dogs were kept by noblemen and abbots, making them a blooded or aristocratic breed. Police departments around the world have relied on these muscular, single-minded hounds to follow the scent of humans, maybe a criminal, a lost child, or a confused senior. These hounds made their way to the US during the turmoil of the colonial times and received their AKC registration in 1855. Number 2. Their Physical Features the Bloodhound is a large dog with long, droopy ears and wrinkled skin, especially on the face. Adult male Bloodhounds generally range between 25 and 27 inches in height, while their weight ranges from 90 to 130 pounds. Females are a bit smaller than males, at 23 to 25 inches tall, and weighing 80 to 100 pounds. The coat is loose and thin to the touch and comes in three color combinations, black and tan, liver and tan, and red. Their drooping jowls and sunken eyes give them their characteristic solemn yet dignified expression. Floppy eyelids can be found over the eyes that vary in color from deep hazel to yellow and their long ears droop alongside their head. In fact, that the world record for the longest dog ears ever is held by Tiger the Bloodhound, whose ears measured about 13 and a half inches. All these extra folds on their body do serve a purpose though, as they're all in place to help the Bloodhound enhance their sense of smell, which brings us to number 3, their impressive scenting ability. The Bloodhound is the greatest tracker in the dog world for one simple reason, because they're simply made for it. First up, the breed has the strongest sense of smell in the canine world with roughly 300 million scent receptors in their nose, which is more than that of even wolves who have about 280 million. For reference, humans only have about 5 million olfactory receptors, making the Bloodhound's nose at least 1000 times better than ours. This allows them to pick up on scents over 300 hours or even 12 days old. What's even more astonishing is they can differentiate between the older and newer scents. Secondly, their nose isn't the only tracking device. Their long hanging ears sweep forward every time a Bloodhound points their nose to the ground, collecting odors from the environment and drawing them close to the hound's nose. In a similar way, the droopy skin over the eyes drops down and covers the eyes when they have their noses to the ground, allowing them to focus on the scent trail. Even their short legs are actually a helpful feature as they help keep the dog's nose closer to the ground. Number 4. Their evidence is admissible in courts After learning about just how amazing the bloodhound scenting ability is, it should come as no surprise how much we rely on these canines. Police departments, search and rescue teams, and other organizations which focus solely on searching for people all employ bloodhounds to help with their missions. In fact, these dogs were the first ones to work alongside the police force where they were first used to help with the ongoing investigation for the infamous serial killer Jack the Ripper. While the vast majority of policemen and detectives scoffed at the idea of using a dog to find criminals at the time, people quickly came to realize just how efficient tracking dogs could be. Today, we trust the bloodhounds know so much that they've become the first animal to have their evidence successfully submitted in a court law, another world record that the breed holds. However, not all bloodhounds can do this, so just because your bloodhound locates a thief does not mean they will be taken seriously in court. Professional tracking dogs are well trained in their job, so only certified trackers will be given consideration in court. Number 5. Their Temperament The bloodhound is a gentle giant, patient, noble, and mild-mannered. They're especially good with children and are known to be exceptionally tolerant of toddlers even when the kids clamber over them. They also generally get along well with other animals. Beneath this mild manner demeanor, however, run deep streaks of determination and independence. Bloodhounds have a mind of their own, and they tend to make their own decisions rather than obey their owner's commands. 
This tendency is especially true if your dog has detected an interesting scent. In such a scenario, they'll single-mindedly follow the trail as far as they possibly can. They're also one of the most melodious members of dogdom, with the ability to perform full canine arias that feature expressive baying, howling, and whining. Don't be disheartened though, as these unwanted behaviors can be mitigated with proper training, although you will have to put in the extra time and effort required to do so. Number 6. Their Exercise Although your bloodhound may look like a well-aged grandpa who would love nothing more than spending their days lazing on the front porch, that is just a common misconception. While they may not look like it, the truth is that they were bred to follow a scent for hours on end, and as a result, they have quite the high energy levels. These guys need long daily walks and are capable of going for miles on end. They also make great jogging and hiking buddies, so if you love outdoor activities yourself, the breed is going to be perfect for you. They're also great diggers and scape artists, so you'll have to get your yard securely fenced if you want your bloodhound to play around in it. Make sure to give them their needed daily exercise, because a bored dog is almost certainly going to be destructive. Number 7. Their Nutrition Whether you opt for commercial food for your dog or prepare it yourself, you have to ensure that your bloodhound gets high-quality dog food that is appropriate for them. You can't just put out a bowl of kibble and expect your dog to thrive on that. A proper diet considers many factors, such as your dog's age, size, activity levels, and health. You also need to be careful of what things dogs can eat and what they can't. Now, while this can be difficult for an individual to do, it is extremely important for the well-being of your dog. Make sure to consult your vet regarding what to feed your bloodhound and how much. With their supervision and approval, you can form a diet plan that is tailored to your dog's needs. In general, these dogs will need around 4 to 8 cups of high-quality dry food divided into two meals every day. Number 8. Their Training While a well-behaved dog can be a blessing to own, when left untrained, your pooch brings nothing but trouble. This holds true for the bloodhound as well. Aside from the standard tricks and training, you'll also have to train your bloodhound to not run off on their own and discourage barking and other vocalization as much as possible. Start training your puppy when they're young and don't forget to socialize them. Bloodhounds are smart and they learn quickly, but they're independent dogs and can be quite stubborn. Owners need to be firm when training them, but never harsh, as that only has the opposite effect. Remember, patience and positive reinforcement work best when it comes to canine training. Number 9. Their Grooming the Bloodhound has a short, dense coat that sheds heavily once or twice a year. Normally, weekly brushing is enough to keep it looking great, but during shedding season, more frequent brushing is necessary to keep the excess hair under control. Be very gentle when brushing, as Bloodhounds have thin skin and pulling on it can be quite painful for them. Another thing Bloodhound owners need to be careful of is their dog's folds. Without proper cleaning, the folds can develop bacterial infections, so wipe them out with a damp washcloth and dry them thoroughly during every grooming session. Their ears are also quite prone to breeding yeast and bacteria, so don't forget to clean them out as well. Finally, remember to brush your dog's teeth daily and trim their nails regularly. Number 10. Their Health As is common with big dogs, the Bloodhound is prone to a number of different health issues while having a comparatively lower lifespan of 7 to 10 years. They are especially prone to gastrointestinal ailments, with bloat being the most common issue. Eye, skin and ear problems are also quite common, so don't forget to inspect these areas frequently for signs of developing problems. Hip and elbow dysplasia, epilepsy, and hypothyroidism are other conditions that owners need to be wary of. As a responsible owner, it is your duty to ensure you do everything you can to give your dog a healthy and happy life. So remember to educate yourself on all kinds of conditions your dog could suffer from and never miss their routine checkups with the vet. Alright folks, with that we've come to the end of our list of top 10 interesting facts about the Bloodhound. Thank you so much for watching the video. Maybe you've met a Bloodhound before or you own one yourself. If so, did we get their description right? Leave a comment below to let us know. Also, please give a video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to share it with other dog lovers. Subscribe for more videos like this and I'll see you in the next one.